Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United, I'm of course George. Welcome along to the channel everybody, welcome back. And it's a match preview for the Watford game, Leeds United kick off, well obviously resume their season at home to, to Watford at Ellen Road, 3pm kick off, 23rd of September 2023. So our first home game in two games, our first home game. Since the start of September against Sheffield Wednesday, so we're still looking for our first home win of the season. Watford, incidentally, are looking for their for their first away win of the new season. Eight game old season. Now this is the eighth game of the season, and yeah, we need a home win. We'll look at um, injury news first. So first and foremost. Willie Nonto is the only fresh injury worry for Leeds United now. Daniel Fark had his press conference this after, earlier this afternoon. He spoke about Willie's injury. He doesn't know the extent of it just yet. They're waiting on a scan to come back today, he said. So maybe tomorrow we'll find out the extent of Willie's injury, but he won't be involved in the game against Watford tomorrow at Ellen Road, unfortunately. But... Willie's had a little bit of an indifferent start this season. I think the, the, the goings on in the summer have obviously affected him really. Cat, he just seems to be marked out of every single game and, and, and the opposition seem to just put everything on him. I mean, the Millwall game was a massive example of that. He was he was basically body-checked every single time he got the ball by their right-back Leonard. So, yeah, it's been a difficult start of the season for Willie. Hopefully he's not out for too long. But obviously we're pretty stacked in that in that position So um, on the wings. So I don't think whoever comes in, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll be able to fill his boots, I'm sure. Obviously Willie adds something to the team. But I think either James or Anthony coming in on that, on that side will do a decent job as well. So he's out. The others that are still out, you know, no, no more fresh ones, but no... No other players seem close to, to to featuring really and won't feature in this game. The likes of Junior Furpo, Patrick Bamford, uh, Jed Spence and Stuart Dallas are all still out injured. Not far off, I don't think, in terms of Junior Furpo and Patrick Bamford. Um, Jed Spence is out for another couple of months, isn't he? And Stuart Dallas, which is the big news, obviously, of the last day or so from Leeds United's perspective. Stuart Dallas, after 18 months out, has returned to first team training. Daniel Fark did speak about his relationship almost with Stuart Dallas and the importance of Dallas to this team. He said he speaks regularly to Dallas and seems to really value his input. And he called him even a Leeds legend for what he's done for this club. And let me know in the comments there below, what do you see as Dallas? Is he a legend? Is, do you agree with Fark? For me, he's a very important player. And can he get back to the same level he was playing at before his injury? Obviously not played since April 2022. Got injured in a 4-0 home defeat to Manchester City at the end, basically, of the 21-22 season. Hasn't played since then. Great to see him back. <clears throat> out on the pitch and hopefully he can get up to speed whether he can play a massive part in this season I'm not I'm not 100% sure but all, all, all the same very very good seeing you saw the lads on social media last night very ec excited a lot of them and ecstatic for Stu to see him back out on the pitch it's obviously been a long long road for him to get back to full fitness but still quite a way off getting a, any sort of game time by the sound of it from, from what Fark has said uh, like I said, the other lads, Junior Furpo and Patrick Bamford, he didn't really speak about Furpo, I don't think, but I don't think he's really in contention just yet, and neither is Bamford. Still a little way off um, way off being involved in a match day squad, I'd say. And then obviously Jed Spence still injured. So that's that's what, five players on the injury table at the moment. So it's not it's not too bad, it's getting a little bit better. Um, and we, we'll be able to go close to full... Strength, obviously, uh, Joe Rodon sent off for two yellow cards on Wednesday against Hull. Let me know in the comments, did you agree with that? I thought it was a little bit harsh. But, or, you know, needless to say, it doesn't really matter what I think. The referee sent him off and he is banned for this game against Watford tomorrow. 
um, uh, and there's a little bit of a, a thing for, for, for Fark to sort out there, but I'll run through my predicted lineup there. I think it'll be Melier in goal. I think left back will be Byram. I think Sam Byram will, will come back in. Uh, like I said, I'd like to see him back in. I don't think uh, Shackleton really could have covered himself in glory. And I know it was just a, a sort of a, an injury thing. Can he play that many games in a week? I think he'll be back for, for this game. I think he'll be back at left back. Although it just highlights in the importance maybe to delve in in January and, 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 and get a left back. I mean, Furpo should be back by then, but whether he can adapt to the championship very quickly and, and and hit the ground running, I don't know, after being out for so long. Who knows? But I think it'll be Sam at, Sam at left back. Centre-back, I think he'll bring in Cooper. He brought Cooper on when Rodo got sent off on Wednesday night. I just think, yeah, the captain and everything like that, I think he'll value his experience as he does with all the other experienced lads and the lads that have been around Leeds United for a long period of time. I think he'll bring Cooper in um, alongside Pascal Strauch. Now, <laughs> alarm bells might go for a lot of Leeds fans. He does probably for me as well. Anytime Leon Cooper is on the football pitch wearing a Leeds United shirt, there's panic in, 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 in my mind, really. Um, I just don't rate him at all, really. But that's the way it is. He's got a lot of experience in this division and, and, and everything like that. I'm sure he can slot back in and do a decent enough job you would have hoped. Uh, but let's wait and see on that one. But I think he'll partner Strauch at centre-back. Excuse me, just uh, just in the camera. Um, and then um, right back will be um, right back will be Alien, obviously. Then Archie Gray and Ethan Ampadu, I think, will continue. I think Glenn Kamara and Ila Gruev will have to wait for their first start. They'll no doubt be on the bench though. On the left side of the sort of wings will be, I'm going to go with James, although I wish he'd start Anthony because I think James is more of a impact sub, but I believe he'll probably start with James. Um, in the middle will be Perot, on the right will be Somerville and on the on, on the front by himself I'm sure will be Jorginho Ruta who needs to find his shooting boots again after that miss. On Wednesday, I'm sure back at Ellen Road will be wanting to prove a point, wanting to get his first goal at Ellen Road. Has, it, has he scored at Ellen Road? Two goals this season, hasn't he? Has he scored at Ellen Road? My mind has just has just gone. Um, yeah, I, th I think he has. But let me know in the comments because my mind has just gone completely. I who knows? But <laughs> he scored against Millwall, didn't he? Um, whether he hopefully can um, replicate that feat. It was a lovely finish on Sunday. Whether he, you know, it was an awful finish on Wednesday when he got that opportunity. So hopefully he can get a goal and 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 do well. Um, you know, in 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 as the season goes on. But Watford, you know, let's talk in eight minutes and we haven't talked about the opposition here, so let's talk about them. Valerin Ishmael, I mean, Daniel Fart did say in his press conference that he um, that he knows Ishmael pretty well. I think he'd done his coaching badges with him or something. He'd spent a year with him very closely, working on things on, on his sort of managerial badges, I think it must have been. Um, he's come up against him a few times while he's been in the championship uh, and also um, he played against him in the German league as we know our man Fark had a little bit of a modest footballing career, didn't really go up the ladder very far in Germany I think he spent his whole, whole footballing career in Germany um, Ishmael on the other hand he played for Bayern Munich for a couple of years and I think that's where he Fart came up against him. I think he said in a friendly one time. He's spoken about it with Ishmael before. Uh, but it seems like those two are, are fairly good friends or, or know each other fairly well, which was news to me. Um, and his side, Watford. I don't know about Watford. Let me know in the comments. Or if there's any Watford fans find yourself watching this. Um, it's just a mix. It's always just a mix of random players who... 
who don't really fit playing with each other. They always seem to have good attacking options. But generally it just seems a real mismatch and mix of random players and it never seems to really work and they always seem to either well when they're in the Premier League get relegated or in the Championship um, you know in the Championship they don't really seem to come close to getting promoted or anything like that it just seems a real random group of players every single time and not really pulled up any trees so far this season. The one point behind Leeds, incidentally, they will overtake us if they beat us on uh, tomorrow afternoon. But, yeah, a bit of a mixed bag so far uh, this season. Nine points. Um, they have, the like I said, they're looking for their first away win of the season, having only played two so far. Five home games have played so far at Vicarage Road this season out of the seven games of the season. The two away games, a 1-0 defeat away at the Bet 365 Stadium against Stoke and then a 3-3 draw away at Coventry. The last game out was a 2-2 draw on Wednesday night against West Brom. Last Saturday, they did beat Birmingham on a late show. Two injury time goals gave them a 2-0 win against Birmingham, the only team obviously to beat Leeds this season, we are now unbeaten in five. Three clean sheets in a row. But Watford, having said all that, random group of players, etc. They've always seemed to have good attacking options, like I said. And one lad to watch is, is the new lad, Rayo, Rayo, Rayovic, is it? from? Is he Danish? He was playing in Sweden. And he's got three goals from four games, including one of those late late goals against Birmingham on Saturday and I think he got two against Coventry as well didn't he they've got Tom Ince who can sometimes cause issues as well the only injury news I think from from their point of view is Ken Semmer the Swedish fella who's out injured but other than that I think they're pretty much at full strength but full strength for me isn't isn't really that impressive for for them unfortunately uh let me know any any Watford fans how you're feeling about this season but the good enough to probably cause issues, you know, Ish Ishmael will play a 4-3-3. Three, three. He's done it every single game so far this season. Expect the same on Saturday. So I think we've got enough to beat this team. I Obviously, I, really, I do. I think we, we need to get our home season up and running. I believe this will be the game that, that does it for Leeds. I think we'll get our first win of the campaign tomorrow. Home win, should I say. Um, and then, but on the other hand, Watford do have a decent Ellen Road record. Uh, include you know over the last five games, Watford have won three of them. We've only won the one, and in that in that run includes a six-one win at Ellen Road for Watford. So they do have a decent away record at Ellen Road. Um, we the only win win of that sequence. Was the last one, obviously, where we beat them 1-0. Diego Llorente's goal from the corner um, in the 18th minute of that game. Saw us win our first game of the 21-22 season. That was October, I think, uh, 2021. So, going on two years ago now. Since they last came to Ellen Road, we beat them 1-0. Like I said, Diego Llorente with the goal no longer seen around Ellen Road, of course. Playing for Roma in Europe, as a lot of these lone players have seemed to somehow find themselves playing in European competitions of various different levels. Obviously, Brendan Aronson turning out for Union Berlin at the Bernabeu in midweek, the same night we went to Hull City. So there are levels, there are different levels, aren't there, to this game, as they say. But um, yeah, so let me know in the comments there below how you're feeling about this one. Uh, give me your score predictions, starting lineups, how you're feeling, any Watford fans, like I said, everybody's welcome here at uh, at the channel, the Beard of Peacock, for me the Beard of Peacock, George, uh, have a good one, have a good day, and enjoy the game if you're going tomorrow, thanks very much for watching, marching on together, I'll see you on the next one.